about my perspective of long-term funding. Uh, what or which of the needed professionals, such as lawyers, marketing, uh, those who would, will advise me on changes in the market, uh, will I need long-term or for the life of the business? Pretty much all of them. Yeah, there's, there, there's no way you're going to be able to run the business. And there's no way you're going to be able to get additional funding for the business without professional accounting support, I without see. professional legal support, without professional advisory support. Now, again, every, everybody has their own way of doing it, and it's critical that you use the talents you have in the best way possible. But I am thoroughly amazed by the number of people who tell me they want to get funding. And then when I say, well, who did your financial spreadsheet? Well, I did it. Really, I probably couldn't have guessed that. The number of typos on it, the way the formulas don't work, and none of the numbers make sense. So I, I probably couldn't have guessed that. An investor is going to see that. What they want to see is a professional accountant doing that work. It's not about building the Excel spreadsheet. It's about mm -hmm. the data that's in it. They want to see a professional lawyer doing that work. A lot of people can come up with a legal document, but is the legal document correct is it within the guidelines of law for the marketplace you're in? So mm -hmm. that team could change, but it won't go away. Okay. I mean, I'm a strong believer in, and you'll see this, with how we go about selecting vendors, how we go about selecting accountants, lawyers, et cetera. Once you're not effective as a vendor, I don't need you. However, I see a lot of independents that'll sit here and change the vendor because they think, well, I can get somebody for $50 an hour cheaper, or I can get a product for a nickel less per pound. And that's not how you select a vendor. Well. So when you're thinking about your business plan, there are the folks that are good at the early stage companies. They're good at the creation of the entity. They're good at the funding of the business, early stage. Well, then you also find there's a different set of lawyers and accountants and, and advisors who are good at funding franchise organizations, funding more corporate locations, funding big, big deals. Well, so once you grow out of the talent of your team, you have to go add members to the team. Mm -hmm. So use, the, use their skill sets. Use your skill sets so that it it's, builds a web of talent. In my case, really my biggest talent as far as restaurants are concerned are operations. I still, to this day, believe I can out-operate anybody on the planet. Fast food, fine dining, anything in between. Day to day, running the floor, serving the customer, training the employees, working the business. I still believe that I can out-operate anybody that's out there. Am I the best accountant in the world? I, I pay somebody to do that. I'm not a lawyer, so mm -hmm. I'm better off paying somebody to do that. But I can create the system to operate, and then I can operate. 